Hi and welcome back. I am at the thrift store again and I'm sorry but I have been a little bit MIA lately. I just got over um, the flu for I was sick for about two and a half weeks and just today started feeling better and I have been sick with some other illnesses before that so today I actually feel not too bad and I'm going into our local thrift store here the best one we have in our little town and maybe next week or the week after I'll take you into uh, Salt Lake where the bigger stores are and there's a lot more uh, variety so maybe we'll do that let's go into this one and I hope you stay tuned to the end to see my haul and to find out what I got so I walked into the store and they have really switched everything around so I'm starting in the plates this time and there were some pretty cool looking plates but they're not high-end and it's harder to sell plates for some reason unless you have a full set um, I mean even then it's a little difficult so here are the mugs too next to the plates which I thought was odd that they moved it around these were some really cute Corel cups and I probably could have gotten them but again they won't sell for very much um, these were really cute and they are older but they didn't have the saucers with them which I thought was odd because they you know I went through all the plates and I didn't see the saucers there were other plates like bigger plates that matched it but not the saucers so I'm just going through looking and this was just a, a cheaper brand kind of cute gravy boat this was really cute but again it was a cheaper brand and I couldn't find any comps to really justify getting it and I keep saying I'm gonna be limiting my uh, purchases <laughs> but I still ended up spending a lot at this store these are really cute I, I think they would be pretty for just like your everyday dishes that was really cute it had strawberries on it and that but it it had a chip on it and then it looked like some some stains that would not come out so I had to leave it that bowl looks old and it's heavy but it's uh, mainstay Walmart brand which is a good brand to use for every day this I thought was really pretty and I, I I'm not sure the the name of that uh, glaze if you know what it is let me know because it looks kind of like eyes and it, I've seen it before but I can't remember what they called it and then I see this this is so beautiful I'm like I have never found one in the wild so here it is it's the thumbprint bowl and I thought oh my gosh I have to get it I think it was two dollars but it was still worth the getting so then just some everyday kind of cooking and and serving dishes just nothing really fancy or that stood out I saw those houses and they had a name on them I looked them up and they only go for like ten dollars a piece so I ended up leaving them I probably should have just got them because then I could paint them all white and put them in my Christmas decor but I had to leave them and that was cute but it had chips all over it the paint was chipping off and again some cool little dishes here I'm not sure what that is I wonder if it's salt dishes but they you know the clear glass doesn't sell quite as good and here I am getting my handy dandy light out to see if they glow my black light and they don't glow so I ended up just leaving them I was just checking everything you never know <laughs> so then I came across this I'm not sure what it is it is pretty cool looking but it looks like it might have gone on top of something like some kind of a shaker it's all brass and it's only a dollar 
I just thought it was neat and I just picked it up for myself. This time around, they didn't have very many baskets, which I thought was kind of strange because they always have a ton of them. Um, not always the best looking ones, but they usually have some, but there wasn't anything really that looked like it would be worth picking up. And so here we are in the wood section next to it. And again, they've switched things around so much that it's all like, I don't know, it's not very organized. It seemed more messy the way they switched it around. But I didn't really find anything in the wood section. Um, the boxes were just like cheapy boxes and um, a lot of just letters and just not anything worth looking at. So then I came across this. It looks like a Hobby Lobby piece. I thought it was really cute and it would be cute in my vintage entryway and it has an antique looking knob on it. So I picked that up. This was really pretty, but I haven't priced those out before. So I'm not sure if that would even sell. Now I have no clue what this is. If you know what that is, let me know. It was kind of scary. <laughs> The John Deere thing, I thought maybe it would be worth something, but they only go for about $10. So I ended up putting that one back. And that I thought, oh wow, it is 24 karat gold and it's a an ornament, Christmas ornament, but the wheel was broken. And so I ended up putting it back. I didn't realize it was broke till later. And this is a party light tray. Um, it's brass, but I think it, it only went for like $10 as well. And I wanted to try to limit my, my items to at least 25 or more, um, even though it was only a dollar, because I, I have so much stuff. <laughs> so this is just a silver plate tray, and I don't have a small one, and I thought, it would look really cute with my other ones when I get my big shelf done. So that one was for me. There's a foot for you. <laughs> I don't know why. Have a foot cookie. I don't know. <laughs> that was kind of cute, but it was resin and it was really lightweight. Another tin. This tin was kind of interesting, but again, newer. And that was really super cute, but it was broken. It had a crack down the center. If you could see that. And again, the houses, I don't know why I'm not picking up those little houses. I could paint them. This was really neat. I thought that is a cool star. It's one of those that you pull out and it, it turns into a star. But I looked at it and it was ripped on the inside. A little gun. Thought that was cute. That was kind of pretty, but again, probably like a ten dollar item. Now these pine cones, I probably should have got them because they did look old, and I saw one out of the bag, so I looked at it, and they're light covers, so you just put them on a light, a uh, string of lights, and. I don't know I was just not into it I guess but I probably should have got him now that I'm thinking about it this was super cute tiny tiny little uh, teapot set but very cheaply made and the little snowman faces <laughs> it was really cheaply made now look at this this was so cute I thought that was neat the little hologram type movements there but very scratched up and not worth picking up at all, unfortunately. So then we're over here in the little, more of a knickknack area. This was cute, but it was a um, souvenir tabletop thing and it was broken, unfortunately. I thought that would be so cute to grab and maybe even paint it. He was cute, but again, cheaply made. Cute little doll. 
This little dog is super cute. There were some, it's a hard plastic and it's vintage. I think it might've been a candy dispenser some, somehow. I just grabbed it because I thought it was cute. It'll be probably in my own Christmas decor. This little mask uh, trinket box was kind of cute, but I wasn't sure how fast that would, or if it would sell at all. So I just left that. Again, trying to get only higher end things so that, because I have so much stuff, I'm just trying to eliminate getting just stuff that's just gonna sit there. I need to list a lot more stuff. There's some more of those dream sickles, or one, I should say. Those were little cheapy things. And I thought that would have been great set if the whole set was there, but it was just the one wise man. And then I thought, maybe it goes over here. No, he's too big. <laughs> Very cute though. Cute little Santa. Oh, I didn't even see the little angel praying. Oh my goodness, I miss so much stuff when I'm videoing. It's hard to capture everything. Even when I went back through and checked again, I didn't see it. That one's been there for a while and it's chipped. So that's probably why it's still there. This I thought was interesting. At first I thought it was a turkey, but it's a peacock and it's a bank and it's all leather. It did have some wear on the one side but I looked it up thinking it might be at least a $20 item and no, it only goes for about 10 to $11. And this one was made in China. I thought that one was kind of a neat looking piece. Very artsy. And I thought he was really cute, but he was kind of cheap. These are super cute. It's a, a music box. They were a little wobbly, but they are old, probably six, late 60s, early 70s. And they did play, but it was really slow. I didn't care. I just picked it up because I love Christmas stuff and it goes with my other uh, little carolers. I was just turning it there to see if it played. And it does, but it's like really, really slow. So you can't tell what the song is. <laughs> cute little bell that was really super cute but it wasn't very high end and these are so adorable they're little elf measuring cups or spoons they were just so cute so I grabbed them these were cute for a little scene if you want to do like a little shadow box or something and I, I really thought about these for a little bit, but I couldn't find anything. And they're from Dillard's way back, I think in the 90s. And I couldn't find anything on them, so I put them back. So going through all that, I found this cute plaque. It looks like someone had hand-painted it, made in November of 2009, and it's only a dollar. And so I just loved it. I thought it would be cute in my Christmas decor. And I thought that was a shadow box down there, but it wasn't. It's just a really wide, thick frame around it. And that looks like somebody's project piece. Kind of cute. Now we're in the purses and I found this really cute purse. It was an Anne Klein and it was really super clean and really pretty. So I ended up getting that one. There wasn't very many purses that were decent so I'm moving on to the linens. And I found this really clean, pretty lace uh, runner I think it was a dollar and so I picked that up for myself and I thought that was a cute little pillow 
for some little girl. And just kind of zim through uh, these kind of quickly. You can kind of tell right off the bat if something's vintage or not. Like this apron is vintage, but it wasn't that great looking. I mean, I guess someone would like it, but I don't think it could sell very quickly. Those were vintage as well, but kind of dirty. And that's vintage too, but I do not know what they were for. <laughs> and cute little uh, crocheted hot pan holders. And then just some little odds and ends. So we're in the lamp section and I saw this cute little unicorn lamp. I thought that would be cute for a little girl's room. But other than that, there wasn't anything really interesting. It was all just kind of, you know, everyday looking kind of lamps, newer lamps. The lampshades weren't even that great. And so nothing really to, to show <laughs> too closely. I thought I would show you the suitcase area. Um, there wasn't really anything worth looking at. It looks like a bunch of trashed ones, but once in a while you can find a really nice vintage one or even a newer looking one. In the back section, they have a bunch of bigger items and I thought that would be cute, but it is like totally all messed up. And nothing really with the baskets that was really nice. And just a bunch of not very good baskets. That was kind of cute, but the lady behind me, she was like grabbed it before I could even look at it, <laughs> as you could see. <laughs> and then there's some bigger wood pieces here that are kind of neat. That's uh, looks like a male thing, and then a bathroom wall hanging uh, cabinet thing, and then just odds and ends wood pieces. And they always put on the outside here, this outside room is more of um, the bigger stuff. So this is the bigger items of the metals. And I saw this cute uh, plant holder and I thought it'd be cute in my uh, vintage entryways with a plant on. So I grabbed that. And the rest was just kind of not too great. Um, Again, I'm, I'm, I was just disappointed with a lot of this stuff, even though I spent quite a bit. <laughs> Normally you could see a lot of neat things. That was kind of neat and I almost got it, but I'm like, ah, let's just put that back. <laughs> then I saw these really cute chairs with the cane on the back and then the embroidered uh, seats. And I thought, oh my gosh, those are so cute. But I think somebody already bought them. That's why they were sitting there ready to go. And the only problem was that they were damaged on the cane and they wanted $25 a piece for them. And you still have to repair them. I thought that was kind of not right. <laughs> then I came across this double candy machine that I think I saw it on Marketplace that they were trying to sell it and I guess they couldn't but they wanted $40 for this and the one side was broken. I saw this set of uh, dresser and nightstand and then the cute wardrobe one. I thought that was really a cute set. I didn't look to see how much it was but I thought it'd be cute for someone. Then I saw this vintage lamp here is really cool looking all brass and they wanted 15 for it which I think is a pretty reasonable price but it is kind of large so I ended up leaving that okay I'm back and I want to show you everything that I got and I spent about $43 for everything and I did get some things for myself and I wasn't able to get a lot of footage on certain things that I picked up just because there was so many people and it was hard to get through the aisles basically to even video on a lot of it. So I want to show you what I ended up getting. So let's turn the camera around and I'll show you. Okay, I want to show you first that I picked me up a couple of shirts. This one is a tank top. And I'm not sure the brand. I, I don't know the brand. I just see what I like and I pick it up. So it's $2 for this cute 
the tank top. And it is runs big, so that's why I liked it. It's comfy. And then I got this cute t-shirt. And it was $2 as well. And that one is Wound Up brand. I don't know that brand, but I liked the shirt and thought it was really cute. So then, next, I went to the books. I always kind of check them out just to see if I can find anything really old. This one is actually really old. It says about home baking, and it has all kinds of different things to bake. I paid $1.50, and it is really old. I can't remember where the year was. Um, oh, here we go. So it is 1933 and it's got a lot of cool things in it. Even color pictures, which I was surprised. Just really cool. Look how old. <laughs> the old style little um, we call them like advertisement packaging and then there's a lot of different ones here but I thought that was really a cool book so this one's mine I'm gonna keep this I'm not gonna resell this a dollar fifty for that I thought that was cool now this one is like the neighborhood kind of things we used to live it's called Pine Canyon and they would gather a bunch of recipes and then make it into a neighborhood cookbook and sell it to make money just for a fundraiser and this one I paid a dollar and um, cooking by instinct with Celia Ludwig so I think she just made this and 1971 is the copyright and I thought it was just really cool it's like having a bunch of your recipe cards all in one thing so I might sell this for like $20, but I might even just keep it too. It's just really cute to sit out in the kitchen, sit on a, a cookbook stand or, or something, but it's just really cute. Then I found this brand new Bible in the packaging and everything for $2. And I wonder if I'm gonna get this out. Maybe. Just a sec. <coughs> there we go. <laughs> Look how pretty. It's all brand new and really soft leather and never written in, never used. And I just have a thing for Bibles. So this one is going to be mine. I gave mine to my son back when he was having some problems and and he still has it so I wanted to get me a new one anyway so this will be mine I just love it it's really pretty and I collect old antique ones too I have probably about four antique ones so then this is a table runner let's move this out of the way and it's really clean with lace See all the lace on it is how pretty you can see. I don't know if it's looks like somebody maybe have has made it. But it's really pretty. It's white white and it's really long if you can see how long it is. And I paid two dollars for it. And I might use it in my entryway with all my vintage stuff but I'm not sure yet. But I don't think I'm gonna sell this one. It's just too pretty. And then we have this pickle jar and it's Vlasic Farms, it says, and it's from 1970s. And of course I'll have the listing of um, either sold or listed comps on the screen, but I thought it was really cool looking and it's got the green tint to it. It doesn't glow, unfortunately, but 
It is old, so I'm gonna be listing that on my Etsy. Then this cute little doggy here. I think I'm just gonna keep him. I'm not sure what it is, if it's a candy dispenser or not, but I paid 75 cents. It has felt on the bottom here. And I saw them online, but again, I don't know exactly what they were for, but it, it's plastic. But I thought it'd be cute to sit out with Christmas stuff. And speaking of Christmas, found this Santa. He's so cute. Paid 75 cents and he's a home co. And he's just adorable. I collect Santas so he's going to go in my collection. Then another Christmas thing. These cute little measuring spoons. It says a, a, if you can see that. A fourth of a teaspoon. So I'm sure they're each little up to a tablespoon and they're little elves for Christmas and they're it's porcelain they're not marked but I'll have the listing on the screen and they're missing the little thing to hold it together like a some kind of chain or something so I might do that but I'm keeping those for myself and then the other Christmas thing that I'm keeping for myself. This cute hand-painted little plaque sign. He is adorable, look how cute he is. It has a few dings, but that kind of adds to the oldness of it. So super cute. And I showed you earlier on, while I was shopping, 2009, it is a little newer, but it's still vintage and I paid a dollar for it and he's just gonna go in my Christmas uh, decorations. Then we have, I just collect these little silver platter type things. This one's small, if you can tell by my hand. And I have bigger ones. It doesn't have a marking on it. I paid 75 cents. But I thought it would be cute with my other silver plated uh, trays to stick on a shelf. So I thought that would be cute. And then this here looks like a Hobby Lobby piece. It has this antique looking knob on it. It looks newer but it's made to look old. I just thought it was really cute. And then you can see back here says it's made in China, has the little hook like Hobby Lobby has. I paid $1.50 for it. And someone had their little Velcro thing for the wall so it didn't move. But I thought that would be cute in my entryway too for all my vintage stuff. I just thought it was really cute. <laughs> then as I was leaving, they were putting out tray or uh, carts of things and he was on there. I thought he was adorable. Look at his face. Super cute and scary. <laughs> and a little skeleton at the end. And I just thought he was really cute. So he's going to go in my Halloween stash. And I paid a dollar for him, if you can see that. But I like him. <laughs> So then, when I went to the purses, I found a couple of them, but then I put one back because it was, I mean, it wasn't really high-end, and I'm trying to do more high-end things instead of just mediocre, and I found this for $3, and it's so cool. Look at the, the zipper pulls, and it's Anne Klein, and it has it on both of those zippers. And then the little pockets in the front. And then it has the clasp here to hold it shut. And it's super clean inside. And you can see, maybe if I can do this with one hand, that it's an incline. I think I did show you in the video already. But it's just super cute. I just thought with that handle and everything, 
it would be really a, a cute purse to sell. So I'll have that listing above too, and I paid $3 for this one. So it's really nice. Then, as I was leaving, I would go through and make sure that I didn't miss anything. And I found this beautiful bowl with the cute little feet on it. And I paid $2 for that. And it's vintage and collectible. So I'll have the listing on that one too. And then I had to rescue this cute vintage carolers little music box. And it's jingle bells, but it is a little wobbly, but I thought it was just super cute. And if you wind it up, it goes really slow. <laughs> but I thought it was just too cute to leave behind, so I ended up just picking it up for a dollar. Now, tell me if you know what this is. I'm not sure what it goes to, but it has the little holes on the bottom, like it's a some kind of a shaker. And let me put this down and I'll show you what it looks like open. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the top off of there. So I'm not sure what it's for. But I thought it was super cool because it's brass and it's a deer, I think. <laughs> and so it's just going to go in my own personal collection. But I paid a dollar for it. <laughs> then I went through again, like I said before, and found those other items. This is one of them. It's a crystal bowl with silver plate. And if you can see here, oh, maybe you can't see. It's hard to see. Oh, it's upside down. There we go. Crystal with silver plate, and it's by Leonard and made in Italy. So I thought that was a cool find. It does come up a little here, but I think if I glue that down, we should be okay. And I paid $2 for it. Then I found this cute pottery bowl, and it was super cute and I only paid 75 cents for it and I think I'm going to probably do about $20 because I couldn't find any uh, matching comps on it but it's just so pretty it's got the blues and the, the brown just really cute so that one will probably be about $20, $25 then I found these Jägermeister Meister? <laughs> Jägermeister um, shot glasses. Hard to tell what they say. Let's, let's see if you can see. They're frosted, so it's kind of hard to see, but I paid 50 cents and they're just cute little shot glasses. And those will be about $20 for the set. And then in the same shot glasses, there's this little cute jar. I thought that was cute. It says shots on it. I thought that was cute. I paid $1.50 for that one. I don't know why, but I just thought it was really cute. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell that one or not, but we'll see. And then this pottery is really super pretty. I can't remember what that's called, but I'll have a listing of similar items with the, the same kind of glaze. I paid 50 cents for it. But it's just a cute little trinket dish and it might be even a wax lid I'm not sure but it's really pretty so I'm not sure about that if I will sell it or not but we'll see then this cute jar it's really old I think it's 70s with the police de, de lore <laughs> I can't remember what they're called but cute little thing here and I paid a dollar for it, and I'll probably list that on my Etsy as well. Then this was super cute. 
I love this sign. So cute. And I'm going to keep this one and put it in my bedroom on my dresser. But I think I paid a dollar for it is all. But it, it was really cute. And it's another one of those maybe possibly Hobby Lobby ones. I'm not sure. But it originally was $9.99. So I don't know. Then I came across this cute thing. It's the rubber band shooter. And I'm going to give it to my hubby because he likes to have those. He used to have one as a kid. And I think I paid a dollar for it. And they go for about 10 or $12 is all, but we're gonna keep that one. The grandkids might like it too. <laughs> and then these wonderful things here. These are super cute. And these will go in my uh, china cabinet at Christmas time with my holly dishes. It's cute uh, sugar bowl and creamer. And there's the name. Sango Noel made in China or not made in China made I don't even know where it's made but it is fine China I gotta pull that sticker off hold on okay so it says 1990 and it is fine China but I can't make out the name that's signed underneath so I'll have to look those up and maybe show it on top but this set here will go into my china cabinet collection and then I have an extra one so I'm gonna put that one on my Etsy shop for sale and I'll have the listing of what they're worth on the screen and only a few more things here so then this cute bottle, I think it's a vinegar and oil bottle with the topper or stopper on it. It's all hollow and it says some stuff on the bottom but I can't make it out. It's hard to see. So I'll have to show you on the listing but I paid a dollar for that and then I'm going to keep that as well. I'm a sucker for old stuff, so I keep a lot of my stuff. <laughs> then, the other day I was thinking, why can't I ever find some old super cool things? And there's my Presley. <laughs> he always has to be in our videos. But this is $2 I paid for it. It's the thumbprint uh, style. And it's going to be listed on my... Uh, Etsy it's in perfect condition no scratches or or dings or anything on it and I thought that was just beautiful and then I have the matching bowl look how beautiful that is and I paid two dollars for it as well and I'll have the listing of that on there I didn't notice but there is a little ding here on it oh my gosh darn it but I'm still going to list it with that ding and show them that that's what it has, but it is too pretty to let it go to the garbage or, you know, not be picked up. It's just so pretty. And then the last thing that I have needs to be cleaned, of course, is this cute plant stand that will go in my entryway with a cute plant on it. And I paid two dollars for that. So that's my haul and I hope that you enjoyed my video. Hopefully you'll come back and I'm gonna try to do some more of my uh, thrift flip type videos so you can see what I've done with my shelf and a, a coffee bar stand that I have so that you can kind of see what I'm doing this uh, next few weeks so hopefully stay tuned and and come back for more thank you so much and have a great day